Princess Penelope. Oh, Penny for short. And I am here to talk about the wondrous creature that is known as the, the ant. Now, many try to eliminate these marvelous creatures from our planet with the pesticides by simply crunching them between the fingers, by using a magnifying glass and burning them alive. But I, in opposition from that, have chosen to lift them up in the highest regards and to look at their lives and to respect them and to treasure them. Um, I recently purchased, as you will see in the following clip, an Ant Works illuminated ant farm. I collected my own ants. I did not order these ants. I collected them with my bare hands and I very much appreciate if you would follow me in a moment, a brief moment for a tour of these marvelous creatures in my farm. This is day one of my Antworks farm. Uh, I purchased it and now I, I transported this farm after I collected the ants from a colony in a, in a park next to my parents' home. I transported them vehicularly back to my apartment and it seems that they're maybe beginning to to get settled in their new home. Um, if, if you can see right down here in the bottom left corner, they've begun to, to excavate uh, a, a, a tunnel right there. They've also started right here on the, on the surface. Um, hi, hi there. Uh, <laughs> right there and also Right here we can see uh, some tunneling to begin, uh, just in the very beginning process. And also up at the top, we can see that there are some ants that are trying to escape, but it, it seems to me that their efforts would be better spent by excavating in this tunnel that they just started because they cannot get out. You're supposed to order the ants from a website and they, they deliver them live. But these ants, they also say that you, you can collect your own. And so I wanted to do that because I wanted that to be a part of the process. And I thought that I didn't need to order my ants because I am mature enough and intelligent enough to capture my own ants without being bitten, um, without aggravating them, and, and I think I did a pretty good job of doing that. And so I, I caught about 20, oh, hey guy, are you okay? That one just took a little dive into the gel, which I'll talk about later. I'm sure you noticed right away that that's not dirt in that farm. No surrey, no dirt in my farm anywhere. I, I researched this particular mound, the colony, and I believe that they are carpenter ants because they have a brown to reddish thorax and a black abdomen. And um, that is the way that you classify those type of ants they are carpenters, and some of the workers, you'll notice, are very, very tiny. You may not even be able to see them. That 
is why I scotch taped the breathing holes as the, the direction booklet said that you could do that and it wouldn't obstruct their breathing. They are more diverse and um, I had the experience of collecting my own little ants for my own little farm. It was like Christmas morning a little bit because I got to collect each and every one of these little kais and transport them into my farm so that they can tunnel. And I'm very, very much beyond ecstatic to note the progress that they will make in the tunneling and to see how long that they live and how fast it takes them to die. So stay tuned for more progress on the excavation and the living habits of these carpenter, I believe to be carpenter ants. NASA is an acronym which stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. So they developed this gel so that not, not only can they excavate and would take off and their tunnels would stay intact, it also contains all the nutrients water that they need. So whomever owns one of these farms need not feed them. In fact, if you were to put some sort of food like a strawberry, they would suck out the juice. They don't eat solid foods. They would suck out the juices of the strawberry and leave the rest, the skin and the body of the strawberry to mold and that would contaminate the farm that could possibly lead to infections in colony members leading to a quicker death than their one to three month life expectancy. And who wants that? I don't. So I think that the gel is the best way to go. And also with my fear of darkness my particular ant farm has red LED lights that light up the farm and illuminate my room in the dark, so it also serves as a nightlight. Thank you so much for watching my video, and if nobody's watching it, that's okay. This is mainly for my own documentation, so that I can keep watch of my ants and whenever this colony has passed away, their intelligence will live on forever on film in my mind too. Thank you. Until next time. <clears throat>